Alrighty, welcome back into this new more weather forecast video. I haven't made a video here in a while, but we've got some significant severe weather days for your Memorial Day weekend. I hope everyone has a, has had a last couple last days of school, if that's for you. I know some people go into June, but I think a lot of us are having our last days, or have already had our last days this week. Some of us graduated. I know I graduated from eighth grade. My brother, my brother graduated from high school college graduations earlier in the month so um just a lot going on but if you graduate if you're just last day of school congrats but let's get straight into the weather as we have a lot to talk about for this memorial day weekend first things first we're going to talk about the severe thunderstorm watch that um was issued just a little while ago and that's centered around the st louis area up into um the macomb illinois area over towards springfield illinois as well up into hannibal missouri and the quincy illinois area this is till 9 p.m a couple tornadoes are possible some smaller hail um, as well and some scattered wind gusts up to 70 mile per hour damaging wind gusts are possible so just be on guard um, this evening into the overnight hours for some severe storms in this um, severe thunderstorm watch now moving on to tomorrow we do have a very serious threat for severe weather this is from the storm prediction center we have a moderate risk a four out of five moderate risk for severe weather and at that a pretty large run from the wichita kansas area all the way down that i-35 corridor into the oklahoma city norman area and that's going all the way um to tulsa tulsa's right on the cusp of this but you can see that we're definitely going to be having to watch for severe weather in this region and then we have that three out of five enhanced risk from the kansas city area um, all the way down towards wichita falls texas and then around that that slight risk there as well but mainly there into the those areas into kansas central kansas over into eastern kansas and central and northern oklahoma that's where we want to be on high alert for severe weather as we go into tomorrow as this is a very serious risk and something to take very seriously something to really watch and be prepared for as we head into tomorrow afternoon evening and into the overnight hours so looking at the severe potential for tomorrow every single one i have as high here tornado potential is very heightened for tomorrow same with damaging winds and same with hail damaging winds that's likely going to be um in the northern part of that moderate risk so into kansas that's where we're really watching for the highest damaging wind threat tornado threat pretty much the whole area we're watching for a significant tornado threat as well as that hail threat and then flooding thankfully is at a low but we have all those highs right there that means this is going to be um possibly possibly a very significant severe weather day again you want to have all the ways to get warnings many ways to get those um warnings and stay prepared out there put your cars in your garage carport parking garage if you can heed all warnings watch the radar if you have any outdoor plans it's really important to stay weather aware and stay tuned to your local meteorologist now looking at the severe risk timeline for okc one of the main um, population centers in that moderate risk for tomorrow when we're going to be really watching for these storms to be popping off and coming through around that four to six time frame but really for right now and this could shift maybe by a couple hours but 6 to 8 p.m. is really when I'm watching for those storms to really pop off. And these are likely going to be supercell storms capable of producing tornadoes. So 4 to 6 and really into 6 to 8. And then 8 to 10 moving to your northeast and east. And that'll be that threat will be falling off as you get into the overnight hours. And then moving on to Wichita, Kansas a little bit later. So around 8 to 10. 10 to 12 and this looks like more of a damaging wind threat but still cannot rule out tornadoes and significant hail as we have those both at highs for this region as well there in kansas into central kansas in one of those population centers there in wichita so wichita into the uh, the late evening into the overnight hours and okc we're talking evening into the early overnight hours and again you want to be very very Prepare. Now, moving on to Sunday, again, another significant severe weather day. We already do have an enhanced risk, right? as you can see right here, three out of five risk for severe weather. This includes the St. Louis area over towards Evansville, Indiana, as well as Indianapolis, Indiana, um, Springfield, Illinois, Peoria, Illinois, there through the Ohio Valley in that Midwestern region, also including there, as you can see, into western 
Kentucky. Now, our severe potential for Sunday, not as heightened um, as Saturday, but that can change. Right now, we have a tornado threat at a moderate. Largest threat for right now does look to be damaging winds, and then our hail threat is at a moderate as well as the flooding. So still very significant severe weather expected, um, as you can tell with the severe potential. Again, you want to have multiple ways to receive warnings and just be prepared out there. Stay very weather aware. And we'll have more details as we go into Saturday. Make sure you, you follow me on X for more updates on that. As And this does include my area in St. Louis, so I likely will have outdoor reports. So stay tuned. Just stay prepared. And again, stay tuned to your local meteorologist. And then lastly, finishing up the video here, we're looking at that forecast for Memorial Day. Of course, when we honor all those who died serving in the line of duty. And we are going to have some rain across the eastern half of the country there, um, into the northeast, along the eastern seaboard. A couple showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms into the upper Midwest, and the same deal going down into the Gulf Coast around Houston, up towards Shreveport, Louisiana. And then that cloud forecast. Of course, we're going to have some clouds from Maine all the way down to Georgia along that eastern seaboard due to that precipitation, that storm system that is going to be moving through up into the upper Midwest as well and then into the Northwest but the rest of the country from Illinois all the way to California we're gonna be having fun in the sun definitely go out and enjoy um, and of course respect and re remember all those who served and paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country so that about wraps up this more weather forecast video make sure you subscribe go follow me in X significant severe weather in Kansas down into central Oklahoma tomorrow again be prepared for that and then moving on into Sunday shifting into the Ohio Valley another significant day of severe weather make sure you again you follow me on X for more updates as we get through the weekend stay prepared out there and I will see you soon with more weather